Hey guys, Dr. Dre here. People are talking about creatine. It's in the news, it's everywhere online. I'm gonna talk about some of the benefits of creatine. Is it good for you? So there's two major types of creatine out there. It's gonna be naturally in meat, animal products. Again, like a pound of meat, it's gonna have a very small amount, right? Maybe the five or so grams per serving, it may take tens of pounds of meat, right? So there's a benefit from a potency and a, and a purity of getting really high levels of creatine. It's just something you can't get from foods. People say, hey, get it from food. You're just not gonna be able to get it from food. So how does creatine work? You have these phosphocreatine stores in your muscle that are used for instantaneous energy sources, right? And so your body has to take ADP and it has to make and add a, a phosphate group to it to make ATP. So AD means adenosine dye, dye for two, phosphate, and those extra phosphate groups via creatine, right? Phosphocreatine, it's gonna help make a more ATP. There's two kinds of creatine. There's creatine monophosphate, and then there's a buffer creatine or a crealkaline. People that complain of like that bloat, that's part of the benefit of creatine. It draws more water into your muscle, helps flush out lactic acid. It can also have some cellular benefits, increasing growth hormone and repair and less soreness afterwards. But again, if you're worried about the bloat, you can also do a crealkaline buffered pH neutral uh, creatine and you'll have less of those side effects. So again, creatine takes that ADP to ATP by putting a lot more phosphate groups. It's gonna help replete your phosphocreatine stores. So very good for any intense movements. Also very good for recovery afterwards. It's gonna help hydrate your muscles. It's gonna help draw in more water for that muscle. It's gonna help dilute the hydrogen ions and have less lactic acid and less soreness afterwards. That hydration is also gonna help improve muscle repair and it's gonna improve growth hormone levels as well. How much should you take? I would say five to 10 grams before intense exercise, an hour or so is great. You can also do it afterwards too. There's some data on it being very helpful for recovery and less soreness. Again, it charges up your mitochondria. So there's some data that it helps with brain function and brain fog because you're providing more of those phosphate groups that increase ATP and your brain is very energy rich. It needs a lot of ATP. And so you have to help your brain by putting more phosphate groups in there. So brain fog, cognitive function, not too expensive. And so I'm a bigger fan of a crealkaline buffered creatine and about five to 10 grams before a really intense movement. And you can also play around with it post-workout too to help. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.